Ooh, what's up, everybody? It's Ash Gamer, and I'm here to do something I've never done before, but I actually always wanted to do it, and it is the Wants to Battle tag. This is a tag video, so if you don't know what that is, basically, at the end of it, you shout out three other creators to do the same tag video. I don't know how many people are going to see mine, specifically. I'm going to just shout out Pokemon YouTubers, or Poketubers, that I really like. I'm pretty confident that Birdkeeper Toby created this Wants to Battle tag, but if he didn't, then don't don't shoot me. <laughs> I've been watching his videos for a very long time. I think he had like 2,000 subscribers or something when I subbed to him, and now he has like in the hundreds of thousands. It's kind of crazy. And every year he does a Wants to Battle tag, and every year I'm like, oh, I should do one of those. And then I never do one. So this is me actually doing a Wants to Battle tag. And the purpose is to pretty much shout out smaller creators so that the Pokemon community can find other people that they enjoy. And I'm part of the Pokemon community, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> I figured, hey, might as well. Maybe we'll get some new people in the channel. And even if not, it's just a fun new video idea. So it's a win all around. So the first question of this tag is, what is your favorite Pokemon of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Now, I actually just, <laughs> I just did a video, a short of this. But if you didn't see it and you're new to the channel, then this will be a perfect time to tell you. It's a little bit of a kind of spoiler. It's at the end of the game. But like, I think a lot of people have gotten there at this point. So here's a real quick mini spoiler warning. Just in case anyone still hasn't gotten to the end and doesn't want to be spoiled. But, three, two, one, it is Roaring Moon. And again, I have a short for this. So if you want to see why, you can go watch that short. But just look at him. Like, come on. <laughs> and just because I like giving multiple answers to questions, I don't know why. I just am like this. I'm very indecisive. <laughs> I'll also say Cerulege is one of, is like probably my favorite Pokemon of Gen 9. Second question is, why did you choose your username? So my original channel name, I've said this many times over the years, my friends know, but not everybody knows. If you're new to the channel, which I hope some people watching this video are, then this is going to be why. It was originally called Beyblade Master 7697 because I love Beyblades. I want to be called Beyblade Master, but obviously everyone also wanted to be called Beyblade Master. I had to add some numbers and I just, that was one of the like options you could pick at the time. I created it in 2011, at December 2011, I think December 5th or 6th. Even YouTube doesn't know which one it is. I think it was at like 11 p.m. Depending on if I'm on like my computer or my phone, it tells me like different dates. But December 6th or 5th, 2011, I created Beyblade Master 7697. I didn't upload my first video until April 24th or something of 2012. But I was called Beyblade Master for a couple of years. And then in 2014, I was like, I wanted something different. And I didn't, I never wanted numbers in the first place. But I, I, when I was 11, I couldn't think of a bit like anything else other than the Beyblade Master thing. But obviously, as you can see now, my name is HD Gamer. I haven't gone over why I'm called HD Gamer, and it's because it's my initials. My initials are HD, and then Gamer because I play games. Obviously, if this wasn't not apparent, <laughs> but then that's also cool because it's like HD Gamer because you know 1080p HD, and then Gamer. It's just a cool sounding name, and it's also my initials, so it works really nicely. And funny story about my intro: when I did a channel rebrand as HD Gamer. I was like, what's up, everybody? It's HD Gamer. But then there was one video where I said it with a little bit more oomph. And then I just kind of kept doing a little bit more oomph. And then it eventually evolved into, what's up, everybody? It's HD Gamer. And I like I like telling that story. I think it's pretty funny. So that's the story of my username. And that's the story of where it's at now. And I guess my intro, too. Third question is, what is the best video you've made this year? Now, I'm very proud of my videos. So it's going to be hard to say. But I also immediately thought of one when I saw this question. So I'm just going to have to say that one. As my Pokemon Legends Arceus review. That is some of the most effort I've put into a video. Not well. Yeah, I can't really say that. But I put like different effort into making that video. Because I never really make videos that involve gameplay. Or not never. But I very few times have made videos that involve gameplay. Unless it's just me literally playing the game. So doing that for Legends Arceus video was very different for me but it was actually really fun because I got to like set up my switch like and then play it through my laptop I don't know it's kind of dumb not that great of a reason why it's fun it's just like oh I'm recording I just like recording stuff okay I don't know that's why I have a YouTube channel but also just talking and showing off this game that I absolutely love with all my heart and soul and is literally my tied for favorite Pokemon game like I got Gen 5 Black White Black 2 White 2 and Legends Arceus and maybe even Scarlet and Violet which is crazy to think about but if you play the games you'll be like wow <laughs> These are some games, dude. These are some good games. Legends Arceus just was like, dude, this is a Pokemon game that I needed to see. Sword and Shield were aight. BDSP were bad, but like nostalgic. So they kind of, you know, at least I had fun playing with them. But then Legends Arceus was just like, that is the game right there. The video, I just absolutely love it. I'm so proud of it. It's got a lot of attention, which I'm very happy for. And again, I said a lot of attention. For me, for my channel, it's a lot of attention. 
for especially for a 15 minute video like it's 15 minutes i think it's very well edited obviously i'm gonna say that because i edited it you don't you don't really feel like it's 15 minutes so if anyone wants to watch that video and hasn't seen it that's been my favorite video this year the question says what are you expecting for 2022 but i think he meant 2023 <laughs> i hope to just grow the channel i hope to just have a good time play games do the things that i love doing collecting this is i this is actually a very reminiscent thing of the thing i said in my 10 years of youtube q a in terms of just life i'm ex just expecting to keep on having a great one and keep making awesome videos for you guys to watch and this perfectly leads us to the next question which is are there any big milestones you're looking forward to 300 subscribers maybe i don't know maybe more hopefully not less i mean we are at less than 300 right like 250 which is woo good job guys Keep subscribing and stuff and liking and sharing and everything and all that stuff. 300 subscribers will be epic. I hope it happens next year. This year has actually been a really, really, really good year for my channel growth. I think it might be my best year ever. Keep sharing the videos. Keep liking and commenting and subscribing because it helps me out. And then we can hit these milestones that I hopefully one day achieve. These last two are going to be a bit weird, but I'll try my best. So number six is recommend a channel with less subscribers than you that you think people would love. Now. I don't really watch many channels that have less subscribers than me. Sounds like a flex, but it's not. But my boys, the Keekinator and Court Slays, they're not Pokemon YouTubers. They're just my boys. They create their own fun content. They don't upload often, but when they do, it's good content. So they do actually have less subs than me. Again, not a brag. It's just, that's just the fact. I'm sorry. And then someone else that doesn't have less subs than me, but in the grand meme of things has not that many is Josie Wilderman. I recently started watching her stuff. She does all kinds of Nintendo stuff, kind of like me. Really good content there too. At the time of recording, she has like 670. Just because I watch a lot of PokeTubers, I'm gonna say Tyranitar Tube and Sylph Spectre and Loxton Noggin. But obviously Burkip too, because he's the reason I'm doing this video. I kind of cheated on this question, but whatever. The last question is tag three people. Now, I would like to believe that there's a chance that either of these three people could see my videos, but I doubt it. So I'm gonna tag Tyranitar Tube, because he's my boy. I wish he was my boy. Self Spectre and Noggin, Loxton Noggin. I love their content so much, and if somehow they ended up seeing this, that would be epic, but I doubt it. But we fingers crossed, we gotta hope, we gotta be positive. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like down there. I hope that some of you people watching are new to the channel because of the Wants to Battle tag. And even if you're not, even if you're already subscribed and watching, thank you for watching. And check out my other videos, because I got a whole bunch of videos. I got Pokemon stuff all over the place. I got the shorts. A lot of people seem to like to watch the shorts. And I got normal videos too. And I hope you guys check out some of the creators that I mentioned, especially my boys. You know, I gotta check them out. Show them some support. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time for the next video. Whatever that may be. Bye so guys. And you gotta always remember, it's HD. Just a little, real quick mini spoiler warning. Mini spoiler warning. Mini spoiler warning. <laughs>